If you're changing your spark plugs for the first time or just maybe curious about what tools you need to do this change, then this video is for you. What's up guys? This is Brian with 247parts.com. And if you happen to find value in this video or you like this video, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps me out as well. Now we're talking about tools that we need to do a spark plug change. Now this could be whether you're doing this on your lawnmower or your vehicle or any other piece of machinery that has a spark plug. So first thing that we need to start with is the type of socket that we're using. Now there are certain sockets that are made specifically for spark plugs. Now here we have an example of a 5 8 spark plug socket and then we also have here a 13 16 spark plug socket. Now what makes these unique to the spark plug is that if we look right down inside there we can actually see that rubber isolator that's inside there and the thing about this and why we need these specific sockets is whenever you look at how a spark plug is made up we have this glass body here then we have our two metal ends here so whenever we're talking about going in with our spark plug here we want to make sure that we are going in and securing it on our glass in here and making sure that we're not going to have any vibration any wiggle for this to possibly crack and break whenever we're taking it loose. So with that rubber isolator inside, whenever we take the spark plug and stick it down in to the spark plug socket and whenever we're taking that off, you can see there that I've got a little bit of springiness where that isolator is grabbing on to that spark plug. So big deal there, making sure that we have that. Now, of course, there might be times where you're not going to have a spark plug socket, but I highly recommend that if you are changing spark plugs to go out and get one, because the problem here is that if we use just a standard 5.8 socket, is you notice that we don't have any rubber isolator down in there, and we do have that issue where we may get a little bit of wiggle whenever we're trying to take that off and have the chance of possibly breaking that spark plug, and then we've got a bigger issue when trying to get it out. Now, next, we also are gonna want to have a ratchet and probably some extensions around just to make sure that wherever we're trying to reach these spark plugs, we do have enough length to be able to get into those areas. Sometimes these can be in tight areas, as you can see on some of the other videos, I'll post a couple of clips down here of me working out some of these spark plugs. Sometimes you're going to need a little bit of wiggle room and a little bit of extra length to get to these hard to reach places. So a ratchet and a couple of extensions, definitely a couple of things that we want to have around. Now, lastly is going to be a spark plug gap gauge. Now this often gets overlooked, but I try to make sure and mention this in every single one of my how-to videos of just how important this is. Now you'll have to check in your owner's manual of whatever piece of equipment you're working on, whether it be that lawnmower or that vehicle, as each individual piece of equipment is going to require a certain gauge for that spark plug. Now what I'm talking about here, when we're talking about gap gauge, we're looking at this gap that is in between this middle pin here and our top electrode. So what this gap gauge does, and if you can get a closer look at that here, you can see that whenever we start here on the far edge, it's skinny and then it has a groove as we go around along with measurements that slowly starts to get wider as we go around. So like I said, each machine's gonna have a certain dimension of how they want these spark plugs gapped. So it's important that we get this spark plug gap gauge so that we can stick the spark plug in to the gap gauge and be able to run that around until we feel that stiffness. And then that is going to tell us where our spark plug is actually gapped to. Now, if we need to change this, whether we need to make this a shorter gap or a bigger gap, depending on what the specs call for, the nice thing about this tool is we have this little hole here on top that we are actually able to stick that electrode up and through and we can pry this up right here with this tool. And also we can use the thick end of this to push down on the electrode. So whether we either need to narrow that gap or widen it, we can do it and measure all with this one tool right here. So a spark plug gap gauge is essential. One more time, we stick that in, we can raise it up. We start here at the small side and we can run that along our gauge here to see just exactly how we're gapped. 
Now, if you're getting ready to change those spark plugs and these tools are definitely something you need, you can find most of these things at your local auto parts stores, some of your farm and ranch stores, but you can also find most of these things at 247parts.com. So make sure to go check that out. Now, guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps us out as well. And also guys, if you feel like I left anything out, you have any other questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below so I can be sure to get back with you. Now, also, also guys, if you're interested in any type of videos over John Deere equipment, steel equipment, or just over equipment in general, make sure to go check out our other channel at Western Equipment for all of those types of videos. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.